What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this beautiful Thursday night, January 12th, 2023. It's about 8.57 p.m. here along the West Coast, California, where we got uh, some more rain coming in once again. Surprise, surprise. Going to pick up uh, roughly about three inches of rainfall again over the next uh, couple days or so. Latest earthquake activity here on the globe shows a 2.2 into the area of Alaska. Um, not a whole lot happening out here along the Western Pacific. Things relatively quiet uh, until we get over here around the Philippines and the Indonesia area where we're still kind of watching a uh, swarm of activity kicking up here in this area. No major earthquake activity, but uh, it's been about the only spot that has seen uh, some continued earthquake activity over the last 24 hours. Uh, now over here, looks like we did have some newer activity kicking up here, 4.7 around the Greece area. Let's go over here to the map. Coming in just earlier this evening, um, about 56 kilometers deep for that earthquake. Now it looks like the uh, USGS did not, uh, actually it looks like they did report that, okay. As a 4.5 though, uh, in the Mediterranean Sea region. There is some smaller quakes popping off here uh, in that area, looks like some twos and threes currently being listed here from the EMSC model. All right, uh, further movement kicking up around the globe, aside from the Indonesia area. Uh, things still, very, uh, as mentioned, very quiet up on the Western Pacific. A little bit of renewed activity down here in North Island, New Zealand with that 3.3. But uh, these other earthquakes here, some older movement quakes, some of the uh, deeper earthquakes and subsequent shallower earthquake activity upstream, let me show you guys here, uh, is from uh, early this morning. Let's see if we've had anything recent. Looks like we did have another 4.5 uh, up towards the Fiji area, 563 kilometers deep. Pretty recent this afternoon, but aside from that, the majority of this activity from much earlier this morning. And then of course we had that three pointer North Island, New Zealand, but still waiting here for some potential larger scale activity, just a matter of time. Uh, one earthquake over here into the Argentina region, 34 kilometers deep for a 4.5. Now that is um, kind of just to the southeast of some prior activity this morning where we've seen a 5.0 or 5.5 and a 4.8 up here towards the Peru Chile Trench. A little bit of uptick in movement today in that area. Uh, Caribbean plate, not a whole lot going on, just typical movement uh, in this area up into the eastern uh, portion of the states. This activity here from uh, this morning, including that one out in the Kentucky area, a little oddball earthquake, a 2.6, uh, just outside of the um, Virgin, Kentucky area. All right, uh, West Coast activity, not a whole lot going on through the Pacific Northwest, Northern California either. Uh, there is some movement, it looks like, into the Bay Area, uh, looks like near the Black Hawk area, Alamo couple small ones on some of these fault systems out here, the Calaveras Fault and just uh, off the Greenville Fault Zone. Uh, no major activity in Northern California currently. A little bit of activity here in the Ridgecrest area, including a 2.5 coming in this morning. Some other small microquakes across the area today in the afternoon time frame. Southern California, just a little spotty movement throughout the San Jacinto Fault Zone. And uh, not a whole lot going on across the San Andreas Fault. Um, into the Nevada area, a little spotty movement as well. I mean, if you really look at this map here, folks, and I noticed that earlier Missy Mimi's pointed out how super quiet uh, certain areas are. Uh, it seems like most of the activity here is south of the equator currently uh, around the Fiji area and portions of um, the South America region. Uh, but up north here, west coast, awfully quiet. The western Pacific over here around Japan, Mariana Trench, all quiet as well. So just kind of watching things, see how they uh, see how they develop. And uh, it's pre pretty much confirmed here on the globe here as well. Uh, West Coast, really not showing anything too much, too active here above the, uh, I have it set at about 2.2 and above, I believe. Uh, let me see here, maybe not. Let me go back down here a little bit. There we go. Should be about 2.5 and above, but still, that does not bring uh, too much activity here along the West Coast or the Western Pacific over here. It's crazy. 
very very quiet so a little bit of odd stuff going on here today possibly the calm before the storm who knows we'll definitely see how it plays out eventually things will get rocking and rolling again uh yellowstone national park not a whole lot popping off here either no uh, earthquakes really to chat about just some very small microquakes and that's about it goodness <laughs> super quiet all right space weather activity here kind of waiting on some stuff just a temporary pause here of uh, flaring we still have a 20 percent chance of a x flare 99 percent for a c flare m flare still elevated at 50 percent uh, for probability there and looking at the x-ray flux chart still shows us crackling here with some C flares and an occasional low-grade M flare uh, Now we haven't really had any X flares here in the past couple days, but there's still always that elevated threat uh, from a couple sunspots here on the uh, Earth facing side. We got this beautiful massive sunspot up here and uh, a new region on the very southeastern uh, limb of the Sun that one's looking fairly dynamic, uh, complex instability. Looks like it's a lot of closeness there in the uh, magnetic structure, but we'll watch that. It's kind of hard to see right now, but we'll watch that in the uh, coming days as it uh, rotates further into view. But definitely keep an eye on a couple of these other sunspots that are facing the Earth as uh, they do harbor a little bit of potential there for some uh, strong flares. This one here has been uh, kind of crackling up here a little bit. This is the most recent image, right? Yes, it is. Uh, Friday the 13th in some areas of the world. Now, um, let's see here. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of flaring coming in from that sunspot region, which is 3186. It still does harbor some very, look at those close structures here. I think this one's getting ready to produce a good size M flare. Uh, these other, it may, possibly even another X flare. Some of these other sunspots here, very, um, well, not so active looks like they're huge right but they're decaying quite a bit the um, structure here of the fields look pretty calm fairly calm in that department but we'll continue to monitor but keep a keep an eye on 3186 and of course that newer sunspot region coming around the bend it looks like maybe another one up here as well on the northeastern limb all right uh, let's see what else is going on out here folks um not there's not a whole lot happening here tonight so uh, looks like there is a buoy out here off the coast of Oregon into event mode. Let's see what we have, shall we? I don't know when this was uh, uh, picked up. Let's see here. What am I doing wrong? Why is this uh, is really not letting me see any of this data It's out there in the Cascadia Basin. What am I doing wrong here? Uh, it's a little on the odd side. I mean, it's going to let me choose all these other sites here to view data and whatnot. Uh, but for some reason, not that area that's covered in a green box. Not for sure what's going on with that. I, I don't even recall seeing something like that. Um, there's really no way to move it off of here, I don't think. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's a little, little on the odd side. But either way, it's out there. Um, I don't know. Kind of weird. What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> it won't let me select any of these. A little weird. Uh, USA, Alaska. Yeah, for some reason it won't let me. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to rack my brain on it. I'm a little bit tired. Uh, it's been a long day, but uh, I'll come back and check on that a little bit later, I think. Probably uh, something simple that I'm missing here. Uh, the tremor map here tonight along the Cascadia, about 80 epicenters. A little bit up here, Vancouver Island ranges, and also up or down south here in the Northern California extreme end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Alrighty, folks, I am going to jump off here. Um, again, just a, a little quiet. Gonna watch, see how things play out here. Someday, sometimes we have these quiet days, that's for sure. And then sometimes it's just back-to-back -back activity. Today's one of those quiet days. 
the calm before the storm, potentially. Alrighty, guys. We'll catch you a little bit later tomorrow sometime. I think I'm going to call it a night here. I'm pretty tired. i get, I got to get up somewhere early tomorrow. And it's going to be raining all day, so that will be fun as well. Catch you folks later. Have a beautiful night and stay safe out there tomorrow for the Friday the 13th. Have a good one.